A look inside Rafa, a city now in ruins as the Israel Defense Forces try to root out Hamas fighters. ABC's Matt Gutman is one of the first journalists given access, and he joins us now with more on that look inside. Matt, good morning. Hey, good morning. With the Israeli military says that Rafa is the hub of Hamas's weapon smuggling operation, a place honeycombed with tunnels where nearly every house is booby trapped. But what we saw was a place that was emptied of civilians and full of the wreckage and the sounds of war. In the ruins of Rafa, the general had to wait for the gunfire to stop before speaking. Small arm fire just on the other end. Now going to check it out. Minutes earlier, we loaded into those Humvees and rolled from Israel across the border into Gaza. Right over there is the city of Rafa, the focus of Israel's fighting over the past two months and of U.S. condemnation. That fence and the dust-choked road are the so-called Philadelphia Corridor, right on the Gaza-Egypt border, a little farther, and we find the Rafa border crossing into Egypt in ruins. Israel claims this was the main smuggling route of Hamas weapons into Gaza. Egypt denies this. See this column of Israeli troops moving out right now. Pretty much every house you see has some level of destruction. Israel has been fighting there for over two months. An estimated 1.3 million Palestinians forced to evacuate southern Gaza, and the IDF claims just a handful of Hamas units remain. But the fighting, not nearly over. You can hear small arms fire in the distance. Actually, not such the distance. Unclear where it's coming from or what's going on, but obviously there's still some fighting here. The Israeli military's chief spokesman tried to explain the destruction. Hamas has booby-trapped all those houses. So they had to blow up the buildings, they said. The scale of the destruction here in what used to be the street is absolutely breathtaking. Every single house is destroyed. All that you see is a little alleyway carved in the rubble. All that's left is twisted rebar, concrete, and household goods. At that point, the military decides to move us out. They're asking us to get into the vehicles right now. To a spot overlooking the sea, now marred by the wreckage of Rafah. Israel's prime minister has vowed a total victory, but the IDF has taken a more sober view. It seems that Hamas is preparing to fight a very long insurgency. They're digging in, they're recruiting more people. Hamas will remain with the ambition to be a terror organization. Our mission is to prevent from Hamas to do another 7th of October. Will you and me be talking five years from now about Hamas as a terror organization in Gaza? The answer is yes. Now, it's unclear how long the IDF intends to stay along that Egypt-Gaza border area, but I'm told it could be months. And this is happening as Israel and Hamas are closer than they have been to agreeing to this ceasefire and hostage release that could end the nine months of war. But if there's one thing that became obvious from that embed in Rafah is that the conflict will likely last for years. Guys. Mm. Just an incredible inside look at Rafah there. Our thanks to Matt Gutman.